Happy Tuesday. Ah. I don't know what to say. I'm not sure how to proceed. For each, for each of the Vipassanas that I've been on, there's been different themes that I've kind of taken away from each. And this particular one for me was <laughs> an echoed theme from my childhood, which was patience. And instead of continuing to be active, doing, to just once again be. Be still. I mean, you sit, but within that sitting, you are scanning your body. And within that, for me, I was actively looking for things as opposed to being and waiting for feelings or sensations to arise. While I was looking, I was finding sensations, but I was finding sensations rather than feeling them. I don't know if that makes any sense. And then, ironically, yesterday, a friend of mine I passed, just bumped into on the street, and out of nowhere, he's like, are you a thinker or a feeler? And I'm a thinker, trying to be a feeler, you know, in the process of learning how to be more in touch with that which originates or boils to the surface or rises to the surface from my inner whatever. You know, I have in the past always strived to be active because I think for me, all the feelings were so overwhelming and I didn't understand what they were or where they were associated with. So by being active or stuffing them, originally stuffing them down and doing a bunch of drugs on alcohol to inebriate them and be like, okay, this is the feelings that these are the feelings I want to feel. And then the other feelings would eventually come up in that state or and, and I'd be confronted with that. And then in sobriety, you know, I, I smoked for a while. I smoked for a long time before I got sober and then I got sober and stopped smoking because I was smoking every feeling I had and while working out every feeling I had and then working out every feeling I had for a long time and you know, you know running but doing being active so the takeaway of this Vipassana for me was to just sit and hang out and acknowledge what was coming up and as opposed to tracing my body and looking for everything, it's like, stop looking and start feeling. And I still get in this trap of like, looking and looking, oh, that's easy, you know, it gives me something to do. And, you know, um, yeah, the journey. And then the takeaway as well was that this is a practice. It's something that I need to continue to do this style this meditation practice is a practice. Life is a practice. Everything's a practice. You get better to a degree, I guess. It, it's a strange... You don't get better at meditating, I don't think, because that's... <laughs> I mean, you may get more comfortable in the meditation, and but the takeaway from this particular meditation is the equanimity of it, is the balance. and the, You know, it's just one sip. Just whatever you whatever comes up that day comes up and it's not greater or less than the other day. The importance is that you showed up for the sit and you sat. You didn't you know, and there's a lot of other stuff in it. It's not that simple, but it you can boil it down to that. You know, don't don't covet the craving or you know continue to reject the stuff you don't like. I don't know. Babbling. Big light. Much love. Peace.